Okay, what is up everybody? I am that guy Brian welcome back and we are going to do a reaction video to a sequel of one of my favorite games of this generation horizons Horizon uh, Zero Dawn, but Horizon 2. So uh, apparently it's called Horizon Forbidden West. It's the announcement trailer, and it was just released. And I'm super excited because this is one, this was one of my favorite games of this generation. It was beautifully made. Graphics were done, and the story was absolutely fantastic. And I'm super excited for it. All right, let's get started. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. All right. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I had to like drop everything when I saw this on my news feed. I was like, I have to watch this. I have to react to it. So, um, it's apparently three minutes and thirty uh seconds long. So, oh, it's gonna be a long one. I'm hoping for some uh, gameplay and some more uh background on the story. Hold up, hold up. Let me get my headphones on. All right, here we go. Let's go. <laughs> I wonder if they're. I wonder if we're gonna be able to swim and go uh, deep uh, diving in the ocean. The old ones perished a thousand years ago. Their great cities turned to graves. Have I seen this? Why? The why is this? Came new life. I feel like I've seen this before. They must have released a teaser trailer and I forgot. The new dangers. Oh, this is CGI though. I want to see some gameplay. I must find a way to stop it. One of those it's gonna be another machine you're gonna have to kill another AI. Like a giant snapping turtle. Until it destroys us all. Oh, it's uh, it's gonna be one of those uh, Armageddon type games, huh? There's nothing I wouldn't do to save this world. Oh, there's gonna be a uh, breathing no thing. I won't explore. Uh, there's going to be uh, clearly underwater adventures with uh, underwater no robots. No secret. I won't unlock. No barrier. I won't cross. Okay, so it's going to be, I, I guess it's an open world game and there's going to be different kind of environments. There's going to be a lush island underwater type uh, place you can go to. There's going to be deserts. There's going to be uh, this mission is mine snow. Alone. There's going to be all sorts of, uh, okay, I, I'm assuming it's an open world. But how big is it going to be? I mean, like in the first one, it wasn't. It was decent size. It wasn't Grand Theft Auto size or any of that kind of scale. It was a decent size world and it was fun to explore. But this is going to be, it would it would seem that it's going to be huge. There's going to be like four different type of weathers and uh, ge geographical uh, locations. It, it would seem, it would seem, I'm not sure. But from gathering from what I've seen from this trailer, it looks like there's going to be a lot of, uh, a lot of exploring to do. If I falter... If I fail, there won't be anyone left to stop what's coming. Except for this guy. This guy's the bad guy. He's the real villain. Ha! I knew it! Don't trust him. I didn't trust him at the beginning either. Okay, this was more CGI. Um, uh, we, we finally got a, a, a time. Oh, okay. Hold up. Hold up. What am I looking at? A new character? But whatever comes. Oh, it's going to be a 
giant wall. Look at these. I will be ready. Man, Gorilla, Gorilla, man. I love this is Gorilla Games is one of my favorite developers next to Naughty Dog and CD Projekt Red. Those three are my top three favorite game developers. Um, they just they just like to produce high quality content, high quality games. And Gorilla, I've always been a fan of Gorilla since Killzone Two, but when they dropped Horizon, I bitch, they just really outdone themselves. They finally the problem with Killzone is that they didn't have a really good story. It just didn't seem really fleshed out. Um, it was graphically, it was it was amazing, it was awesome, but the story was weak. You know, the storytelling part was extremely weak. And but when they released Horizon New Dawn, oh man, Zero Dawn, oh man, the story was it really set them where they needed to be, which was a top tier game developer now because they have the story, they have the graphics, they have passion and love for making games. And I'm just, I'm just a, I, I, they're my top three. They're in my top three. But um yeah, I was expecting gameplay, but of course it's just an announcement trailer, so what could I expect? But I'm looking forward to seeing the PlayStation 5 is just uh has just been revealed too. It's white and blue, looks pretty slick and futuristic. Um I would the second I can get a chance to, I'm definitely gonna pre order it. Uh I'm gonna pre order it on Amazon and then I'm gonna pre order it in person somewhere at GameStop because I, I just wanna get my hands on one. I preferably don't want to order it from Amazon because of pack because I don't know, it, it could come in damage, so I, I don't want to risk it. I'd rather pick it up in person, but if I have to, I will. But, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to the rest of the games that they're going to reveal. Um, There was supposed to be some sort of PlayStation 5 conference like a week ago, but because of, for the, they, they put post on it because of all the riots and looting and the protesting. But, um, yeah, man, um, I'm pretty excited to see what games that's coming out for the playstation 5 all right i am dad guy bry and i will catch you guys next time and um cheers